Did you know there was an outdoor Tai Chi court in Bethesda that was built to honor a beloved teacher? And that it's free for all. Here's more. My late teacher, David Chen, he passed away in uh, 2005. So he used to lead us in practice out here uh, every Saturday. A big, uh, big, big snowfalls. David used to show up with two snow shovels. Um, and he would just dig his way in. And uh, when he passed away, we wanted to do something that would be a good tribute to him. You know? And it's like, we should build a Tai Chi court here, you know, for people to practice. We, we present the uh, uh, design to Montgomery County Park, and they love this idea, so we kind of uh, partnership together. Well, hello, I'm Charles Vota. I'm one of the people that helped build the Tai Chi court, which you can see here. The Tai Chi court is located in Cabin John Regional Park, just up from the train station and the dog park. The idea of the court was to do something that was very natural, that kind of blended in with the, uh, the areas. And, uh, you know, that's really part of like Tai Chi principles, is blending in with the area. And if you look around the court, there are many uh, quotations from, from David Chen. Cultivate your body in order to accumulate skills. Cultivate your mind in order to accumulate wisdom. These are kind of universal ideas that almost anyone can relate to, whether they practice Tai Chi or not. When we uh, first approached the county about building this, we, uh, we were very much adamant about wanting this to be open and free. So, you know, I know like with the pavilions, the people rent the pavilions for picnics and stuff, but we wanted this to be something where anybody could walk in and use it at any time. And so um, there's a large regular group that comes out here every Saturday morning. Um, and people just come out and practice and exchange. A lot of the people here are teachers. It's not really like a class per se, um, but they're, everybody here is friendly and happy to talk with people and let, you know, tell them a little bit about Tai Chi and share with them and help them, you know, find a place to learn if that's what they want to do. The bodies are incredibly intricate, beautifully well-designed system of parts that work with each other and balance each other. And um, we've lost a lot of that just because we don't use it properly. So we tend to use the skeletal system like a, uh, the uh, pillars in a building, you know, like the columns in a building. Where you just set stuff on it. And Taiji gets you away from that um, so that, you know, the uprights and all the connecting things all kind of work together so that you're sort of suspended. Most types of exercise, as you practice, you get stronger and stronger. And as you get older, it becomes more and more difficult to continue. But Tai Chi doesn't work on becoming stronger. It works on becoming more and more relaxed. The people who are, have the most relaxation have the most skill. And you'll meet people in China who are 90 years old and can easily uh, handle anybody who attacks them, even people in their 20s and 30s, because this skill doesn't require strength. It requires relaxation. Through the Tai Chi form training, you balance your upper body, your lower body. You try not to carry your weight by using your back or your neck. We're going to have students uh, get together to do some form practice, and I think that's what most people think about when they, they think about Tai Chi, is everybody doing the, the form together and everything. A lot of people come out and practice that individually. You do the form and you think you're all balanced, but then someone comes up and puts their hands on you. Are you relaxed and balanced? No, you tense up, right? So, a big part of Tai Chi is just being relaxed and comfortable and, and staying balanced. And the push hands is like a two-person thing. It really is uh, trying to uh, build in the Tai Chi principles that you learn um, as part of doing the form. And so um, you really need a partner with that and build sensitivity. Um, and it's really a lot of fun too. Pushing hands is part of our Tai Chi practice where one person tries to push the other off balance, as you can see here. The more relaxed you are, the easier it is to maintain your balance. If you become very tight and strong, you fall off balance pretty easily. And this is why an older gentleman is able to handle this uh, fairly well, because it's based on relax, not on strength. No burn, no earn, we say. You need to go through a little bit of that to get there. And the next level is the balance that you and everything around you, like you, um, your friends, your spouse, your boss, right? So everything around you, you find the new balance. I, I realized 
what around me and I find the balance within and uh, I eliminate the stress in my life and manage my life better. People do Tai Chi and they feel sort of like they're in a new place. Tai Chi is not the way, but a means to help people realize their own ways. David C. Chang. The informal Tai Chi Open practice meets every Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon at Cabin John Regional Park in Bethesda. To find out more, go to www.wuweitaichi.com.